many nights I dreamed of being with you and sharing these precious moments. Quality time. I wonder if I could ever give you enough to make up for the time that we lost as I paid my debt to society. I stayed awake wondering if the crimes I committed will eventually affect or mold you into the women that you are today or will be tomorrow. I want you to be proud of me. Tirelessly, I keep reinventing myself so that the words that come from your mouth will never be my daddy the ex-felon. Unfortunately, I cannot rewrite history into a beautiful story for your mothers, my mother, or you to tell when you become mothers. But I can write for our future. And maybe I will. I will write a book entitled Raising Three, Why Girls Need Their Fathers. I will be for the good of people. I will make my family proud of me. My need to create a legacy will be with the pen. Whether it's entertainment, keeping the inmates or civilians informed, fashion for people who are awake that will still rock do-rags and shower slippers with socks, my life here won't be in vain, and I am not going back to leave them again, lost and confused without my protection. If only I could have thought about this 20 years ago. If only I was the man I am today. Would things have been different? I don't know. My favorite number is three. Three because of my daughters. Someone once told me that the number three has a spiritual meaning. The number three invokes such expression through creativity. It's a time identifier representing the past, present, and future. Consecutive three symbolize the need for me to express myself creatively, and that's what writing has done for me while thinking of them. The other meaning of three symbolizes reward and success in everything that you do. So if everything I do is for them, I can't go wrong. People have judged me as a criminal, but I'm a man with conviction. Not only a man with convictions. I'm human. I'm a son. I'm a father. And I'm a man. These are the myths, memoirs, and confessions of an ex-felon, told from the heart of the once heartless. Let God be the judge.